Hey there, this is Professor Hank. Welcome back. And in this video, I am going to introduce you to lists in Python. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, you can think of lists as a type of variable that can hold more than one value or more than one piece of information. With regular old variables in Python, you can do something like a equals one, right? And if you do that, a is a variable that's going to hold one. Right? But with lists, we can add multiple values. We can hold three integers, five integers, a combination of integers and doubles, um, you know, an integer, a double, and a string. We can just put together all kinds of combinations of data together inside of one, um, what's essentially a variable or what looks like a variable uh, to us. Okay, uh, lists are dynamic. They can grow and shrink, that is to say, that we can add new items to our list anytime we want, and we can remove items from our list anytime we want. Okay, so there's a lot to cover with lists. So in this video, we'll try to narrow the scope, keep the scope kind of short so this video doesn't run for hours and hours and hours. Uh, in this video, we're gonna just go ahead and show you how to create a list. Gonna show you how to add items to an existing list, how to delete items from an existing list, and then how to access and change items uh, in the list. This is known as indexing. Okay, so let me start off by showing you how to create a list. Uh, you create a list by creating a variable name, just like anything else, and then assigning to it uh, all the values that you want to store in your list. It's going to require a special type of syntax to make this happen. And that syntax is going to be something that looks like this. We're going to have an opening square bracket, closing square bracket. And then in between, we'll have a series of data that we want to store. Right? So in this example, I'll go ahead and store one, two, three. And then you can see that I can pass my list to the print function. And it's going to display the contents of my list. Okay, now I can uh, put inside of a list any combination of values, integers, um, floating point numbers, or strings, right? And lists can store anything, okay? So I'll print another list here, okay? And they don't have to even be all the same data type, whatever you're gonna put in that list, right? You can do whatever combination, that could be integers, floating point numbers or strings or anything you want to put in there. Okay, so that's how you can create a list. Now, what if I want to access individual individual elements of the list? Okay, well, if I'm going to do that, then I have to use um, index uh, indexes, right? And indexes, valid indexes are zero through n minus one, where n is the length of the list, right? So um, in my another list here, I've got three members called elements, okay? And so each one of these elements, individual elements, are identified by what's known as an index, and the index counting starts at zero, and indexes are themselves integers. So the one is index zero, the 3.14 is index one, and hello is index two, right? So I can then reuse those square brackets along with the index number to access the individual pieces of data, okay? So now if I run this, we're gonna see um, one, 3.14, and hello, right? So corresponding to that statement, that statement, and that statement right there. Okay, now what you can do with the data in each individual element within the list is anything that you could do with that data type in any other kind of variable. So for example, I could do something like this. Total is equal to um, my list of zero plus my list of one plus my list of two, right? So I'm doing arithmetic there and then print out the total for you, okay? 
right? And in addition to accessing individual pieces of data within the list by using indexes, I can also uh, change uh, values within the list by using their indexes, right? So I could say another list, index two, that would be that third value right there. Let's say I wanna change that to um, goodbye. Okay, once I've done that and I print out the entire list, you can see that it has changed, okay? Now, I had mentioned earlier that uh, lists can grow and shrink, right? So let me show you another example here. So lists can grow and shrink. They are dynamic, okay? So here's how you can create an empty list, right? If we just say A equals and then have those square brackets with nothing inside them, then there's nothing in that list, but it does exist, right? So the shell shows us a list with nothing in it. Now, if I wanted to put some additional stuff into that list, one thing that I could do is I could use the append method to add items to an existing list, whether that list is empty or not. Right. In this example, I made the list empty just to be a little bit more dramatic or to underscore what's going on here. But um, if I had already had values in my list, uh, this would work just fine, right? So by using the append method, I can do something like this. I could say a.append and then specify a value that I want to add to the end of my list, right? So if I do that, you can see now uh, eight has been added to my list, okay? So then let's say that I want to append another value, right? So this time I'll append 1.2. Because again, lists can have any combination of data, all integers, all floats, all strings, or, or, or a float, a string, and, 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 adult, and, a, and a integer. Doesn't matter, okay? Um, oops. You can have in them whatever you want, okay? So let me append another value here. But the append method, always places the value at the end of the list okay so my list is growing as my program's running now uh, i can use the del function to remove items from an existing list right so let's say that i decided that i don't want 1.2 in my list anymore well what i can do is, is i can say del and it's built-in function, passed to it as an argument, uh, the name of the list that I want to remove something from, and the subscript of the thing that I want to get rid of. Okay, I can do that. And then if I print my list, you'll see that that thing is now gone, okay? Okay, so let's summarize what we talked about in this video. Lists are entities in Python that are like variables that can hold more than one value. In addition, they are dynamic, which means that they can grow and shrink as the program's running. We can add new values to a list and we can delete values from an existing list. In this video, I showed you how to create a list. I showed you how to add items to a list using the append method. I showed you how to remove items from a list by using the del function, and I showed you how to access and change items in the list by using list indexes. Okay, so that's gonna bring this video to a close. If you felt that the video was useful, please consider giving the video a thumbs up, and if you thought that the video sucked, well, then you've got that thumbs down button as an option as well. If you'd like to see more videos, if you're interested in more content from the channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button. And as usual, if you're a student of mine and you have further questions, feel free to drop me an email or to stop by my office hours. Okay, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.